Good morning, good morning, brothers and sisters. I'm so grateful that you've been able to join me this morning. I thank God for your life. We have just entered into week three. And I just want to say thank you for being there in week one. Thank you for being there in week two. This is week three. And I pray in the name of Jesus. I believe that every day there is something that God wants to do in your life. God says, I will be chipping away gently at my people. That by the time this 100 days is over, you will achieve so much that you haven't achieved in 10 years. And that is what God wants to be doing for you in this season. So I pray that as you are obedient, as you are diligent, as you are persistent, as you continue, Continue to persevere in the realm of the spirit. I pray that heaven will also back you up. I pray that as you were going, as you were pressing on, as you were pushing through, as you were travailing, I pray that heaven will back you up. I pray that as you were believing God and trusting God and putting your faith in God and doing away with fear and doing away with the spirit of unforgiveness and dealing, doing away with every negativity, I pray that heaven will back you up in the name of Jesus. I just want to take a moment out to pray for that person that's just entered into week three with me. I pray that heaven will continue to cause that fire to burn in you. I pray that heaven will continue to push you up along the way. I pray that heaven will continue to push you along in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that heaven will begin to open your eyes. May God open your eyes. May he open your ears. I pray that someone will receive a word this week in the mighty name of Jesus. A word that you can run with for the rest of your life. A word that you need for your business. A word that you need for your marriage. A word that you need for your ministry. I pray that you receive the word this week in the mighty name of Jesus. Because I believe that every week God will be dropping something out. God will be dropping wisdom keys. I believe that God will be turning things around. I believe that God wants to do something great in the life of his people. And I pray that you will, as you go on every day... Every day you will pick up something. Every day God will reveal something. Every day God will pour something into your spirit. Every day God will cause a stirring in your spirit. Every day God will remove certain things from your mind. Every day God will begin to renew your mind and energize you in the name of Jesus. I pray that your relationship with God is getting stronger and stronger in the name of Jesus. I just thank God for your life. And I celebrate you and I salute you this morning. Because sometimes life can be so much that it becomes a struggle. But you continue to come. And so I thank God for your life and I salute you this morning. But as, as, as the tradition is, can we just give God praise? It is so important that we give God praise every day. So I just wanted to show your gratitude this morning. Begin to worship him. He is the miracle worker. He is the way maker. He's the divine healer. He's the strategist. And so begin to give him praise. He is our redeemer. He is our restorer. Oh, Father, Lord, we bless you this morning. Somebody begin to bless him. Begin to bless him. Begin to bless him. Begin to glorify him in this temple right now. Begin to worship him right now. You are the temple of God. Begin to worship him. Begin to say, my God and my King, I give you praise tonight. I give you praise this morning. I exalt you for everything that you have done. I exalt you, Lord. I exalt you. I exalt you. And I honor you, Lord, for this morning. It is by your grace and your mercies that I find myself here. It is by your grace and mercies that the enemy could not consume me. It is by your grace and mercies that my husband is well, my wife is well, my children are well. It is by your grace and mercies that we are still standing, Lord. It is by your grace and mercies that we are not sick. It is by your grace and mercies, Lord, that I've not been destroyed. It is by your grace and mercy, Lord. Somebody just give him praise right now. Just tell him that it is his grace and mercy. I tell you, he is a miracle working God. He is our present help in trouble. This earth is your footstool, Lord. And I know that you have blessed me with all spiritual blessings. God has blessed you with every spiritual blessing that you can ever imagine. So somebody begin to give him praise. What is it that God cannot do? He's done it all. He can do it all. He's done it before. He continues to do it and he will forever do it. There is no end to how awesome he is. There is no end to his ability. There's no end to what he's capable of. There's no end to his creativity and innovation. There is no end. Every time you think you are done, God pulls it out of the bag. Every time that you think this situation is over, then God shows up. Every time you think, look, this is over. There's nothing else that can come out of this. You hear a story. You get a testimony. And your spirit man is quickened. 
I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you will be the one giving us the testimony. I pray in the name of Jesus that your time has come. I pray in the name of Jesus that your season has come. I pray in the name of Jesus that your season of manifestation has come. I pray for an anointing, an anointing, an anointing of an eagle over you in the name of Jesus. I pray for an anointing of speed, divine speed over you in the name of Jesus. In this ministry, we have experienced speed. The one thing that we have experienced that is so phenomenal is speed. We have seen God move mountains. We have seen God align things. We have seen God solve puzzles. We have seen God and we are in awe of him. And I pray that in the mighty name of Jesus, you will begin to be in awe of him. The reason why you'll be in awe of him is not because of what I tell you. It's because of what you are about to experience in your own life. All you've got to do is give it up to him and say, Father, Lord, I surrender to you in this 100 days. Take control, Lord. Because you say that this is a fight for me to regain my life in 2020. I commit the month of September, of October, November and December into your hands. That Father, if you do not come through for me, I don't know where I will be. If you do not come through for this business, I don't know what's going to happen. If you don't come through for this child, I don't know what is going to happen. If you don't come through for this dream, I don't know what is going to happen. But I put my trust in you and I committed and you said it is a fight and I know that it is you that will teach my hands to war. It is you that teaches the hands of men to war. Father, may you teach my hands to war because you said it is a fight. You said it is a fight. You said it is a fight. I know that I'm speaking to somebody who is saying, I've got no more strength to fight. I know I'm speaking to somebody who is saying, I've lost it all. I know I'm speaking to someone that's saying, I've got no more energy to fight. I've given all my fight, but I say, Master up, because you've got one more fight in you. I say, You've got some more fight in you. Master it up in the name of Jesus. Say, I refuse to die, devil. I refuse to die. I refuse to go down, fight, no, not fighting. I refuse to give it up. I refuse to throw in the towel. I refuse to quit. I'm not quitting. I've got September. I've got October. I've got November. And I've got December. And I refuse to quit. It is not over. My God says it is not over. I need someone to repeat this after me. My God, who is the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, says it is not over. Jesus says it is not over. The Holy Spirit is saying it is not over. It cannot be over. Don't let the devil tell you that the battle is over. It is not over. It is not over. It is not over at all because your God is about to blow your mind. God is about to blow somebody's mind. God is giving someone a testimony. You think you've been in that test too long? Persevere. You've been, you think you've been in that challenge too long? Persevere. You think that you are in that pit for too long? Persevere. Because I know that God is coming through. My God is coming through and he will provide all of your needs according to his riches and glory. God will provide all of your needs. He says that if the birds of the air should not worry about what to eat, how much more my people? God is saying that tell my people that they should not worry. I will come through. You will not die. You cannot die in the name of Jesus. You will not die and you cannot die until God says so. You will not die in the name of Jesus. The devil cannot scare you. The devil cannot push you. The devil cannot drive you to insanity. Just hold your peace. Just hold your peace. I know in this season there's a lot of voices around us. But I tell you, if you can keep quiet for a minute and you can just focus, you will hear that small still voice. You will hear that small, still voice of God in the name of Jesus. And he's saying, child, I hear you. Child, I see you. Child, wait for me. Travel, push. It's just but a little bit more. Just a little bit more. You are coming through. You are coming through. You are coming through. And you will realize that everything that you've been through is for your good. Everything you've been through is for your, your good. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. It's a valley of shadow of death. I will fear no evil for thou art with me. So God is with you. He is walking with you. In some instances, he's carrying you. Other instances, he's carrying you on his back. God is with you. Please, I speak to you this morning that please remain steadfast. Please remain steadfast for God is with you. 
I want us to begin to look at the characters, a number of characters in the Bible over the next few weeks because a number of us identify with these characters and as we begin to read about them, there are certain keys that we can pick out of the lives of those individuals and begin to pray using those keys and begin to apply some of those keys in our lives in the name of Jesus. This morning, I want us to look at the story of Job. Majority of us know the story of Job, but if you don't know, you turn your Bibles to Job chapter 1 and we will begin to read from there. But I want to give you a quick summary about Job. The Bible says that Job was a very upright man. He was a man of integrity. He was a man of accountability. He was an upright man. He's a man that feared God. He loved God and God loved him. The Bible says that he loved God and God also loved him because if you look at his life, and you look at the relationship and the connection between him and God. He feared God and he loved God and God loved him. And God blessed him abundantly. They said he was the richest in that place at the time. God blessed him with seven sons and three daughters. He had so many animals, so many cattle, so many servants, so many camels, oxen. He was blessed and so much wealth. And he constantly offered a sacrifice to God. The Bible says that there were times when his children would have, would have parties. And in the morning, after the end of these parties, Job would uh, offer a sacrifice for fear that maybe his children may have said something that may have angered God or upset God or cursed God. And he will offer sacrifices and purification for his children. That is how much the man feared him. But it says that one day members of a heavenly count were presenting themselves to God. And the accuser of their brethren, Satan, appeared. Satan wasn't invited. It was heavenly beings that had gone to present themselves to God. But Satan, the accuser, the Bible refers to him as, as the accuser, showed up. He showed up. Nobody invited him, but he showed up. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that wherever the enemy shows up concerning you, they will be rejected in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that wherever the accuser appears concerning your life to accuse you, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that every accusation will not stand in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that in boardrooms where decisions are being made concerning your life, where certain individuals will just appear, they don't even know you, but they will appear. You haven't invited them, but they appear and begin to accuse you. I pray that in marketplaces where you are being accused, I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that no accuser will be able to accuse you in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that no voice will rise up against you in this season in the name of Jesus. I pray that wherever your name is being mentioned, God will provide a good person there in the name of Jesus. The Bible says that Satan, the accuser, appeared there. And God said to him, what are you doing here? Where have you been? And he says, I'm just going to and fro the earth. He says, I'm just going to and fro the earth, just going up and down. The devil is just walking up and down. He is constantly walking up and down looking for whom he can destroy and whom he can, he can slay, whom he can kill, whom he can cheat. Who he can sow discords into your life, who he can sow discord into your marriage, where he wants to sow confusion into families. The devil is just walking to and fro. And the whole aim of the devil is to kill, to steal and to destroy. But I pray in the name of Jesus that the devil will not locate you. That even though the devil is going to and fro, he will not locate you in the mighty name of Jesus. May the devil not locate you in Jesus' mighty name. I say Satan will not locate you. Neither would his agents locate you in the mighty name of Jesus. Despite the fact that the enemy is going to and fro, somebody begin to speak over your life. Say, Father, I am covered with the blood of Jesus. I am covered with the blood of Jesus. Everything concerning me is covered with the blood of Jesus. My children are covered with the blood of Jesus. My marriage is covered with the blood of Jesus That the enemy will not locate me Despite his going to and fro I pray that he will not find me He will not find my home He will not find my children The devil will not devour me When he comes, oh my God He will not find me wanting Because that is all the devil wants to do And it says that then the Lord asks Satan Where, have you, where are you coming from? And he says, I've been patrolling the earth Looking up and down walking up and down the earth the devil is just walking up and down the earth looking for someone to devour looking for someone to destroy looking for someone to kill looking for someone to chastise 
looking for someone to do all manners of, of things with. But I pray in the name of Jesus that nothing of yours will be located by the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. And if you continue to go on to the verse 8, God started to boast about his seven Job. He says, have you seen my seven Job? The question I want to ask you is, God says he fears me. What is God going to say about you? Is God boasting about you? Because God was confident and 100% assured that he was going to boast about Job to Satan. Because he knew the character of Job and he knew the heart of Job and he knew the mind of Job and he had tested Job and he knows that Job loved him and he loved Job. So he said to Satan, have you considered my servant Job? He's a man of integrity. He's a man that fears me. And the devil said to the Lord, yes, but Job is a good, Job has a good reason to fear you. You have always put a wall of protection around him, around his home and around his property. And you have prospered him and he is rich. Even the devil knows that God has blessed you. The devil knows that God has blessed you. The devil can see something about you. That is why he so much is after you. He knows that you are blessed. He knows that God has blessed you. He may not know everything into details, but he knows that you are blessed. He sees you and he knows that you are blessed. He knows that our Father loves you. He knows what God has done for you. The devil knew. He says that you have protected him. You have put a wall around him, around his property and around his life. And you have made him rich. This is what the devil said to God. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that God can boast about you. And I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that the devil himself can see the blessings of God over you. Men can see the blessings of God over you, but sometimes we can't see the blessings that we've got. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus because the devil can even see that you are protected. The devil said that yes, you have protected him. You've protected everything about him. You've protected his home. I pray protection in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to speak over somebody who feels like a job right now. I want to speak over someone. We're going to end today and pray. We're just going to end at this stage and pray. Tomorrow we will continue. But I just want to pray right now with somebody that identifies with the character Job in the name of Jesus. You are somebody that fears God. You are somebody that is a man of integrity. You are someone that, that you are so fearful of God. You sacrifice, you give everything to God, you do everything for the body, you do everything for the kingdom. I want to pray over you this morning in the name of Jesus. There are so many pillars like that in this world in the mighty name of Jesus. There are so many men and women like that in the mighty name of Jesus. And all they do is give and give to the kingdom. They sacrifice, they sacrifice, they, they fear God, they reverence God. They stand in awe of Him. I want to pray over you this morning in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to pray over somebody that's so fearful. I want to of God and reverend Him and salute God and worship Him. I want to pray for someone that you sacrifice. You sacrifice your time. You sacrifice your resources. I pray over for you in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that God will continue to pour out a blessing that is so great over you from generation to generation in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that your sacrifice will not go unnoticed because you realize that the sacrifice of Job was not go had not gone unnoticed. The good deeds of Job had not gone unnoticed. His reverential fear had not gone unnoticed because God boasted to the enemy about Job. May God begin to boast about you to your enemies. May God begin to lay a table before you in the presence of your enemies. May God cause his countenance to shine upon you. May God boast about you in this season in the mighty name of Jesus. Because when all was going down, when all hell has been breaking loose from the month of March to April to May to June to July to August, you remain standing. You stood still. When it looked like all hell was breaking loose, you stood still. In the midst of chaos, in the midst of a downturn, in the midst of people wrapping up, you refused to wrap up. You refused to close your door. You still persevered. You still provided for the kingdom. You still supported the poor. You still helped others. I want to pray over you this morning. This prayer is for you this morning. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray over your people. I pray over that man and that woman, Lord, that has remained standing in the name of Jesus. I pray over that man and a woman that fears you. I pray over that man and a woman that is like a job right now. That, Father, they are fearful of you. 
They respect you. They honor you. They sacrifice for you. They sacrifice for the kingdom. I want to pray over that person right now in the name of Jesus God and I pray that in this season as we are entering into this season you will reward them mightily you will reward them greatly that your expectation will not be cut off you have demonstrated to God that when he gives you you will give you have demonstrated to God that he can be proud of you he can give you the giftings and the talents because you will use it for the kingdom you have demonstrated to God that despite how rich you become, you will still be in awe of him. You have demonstrated to God that how much, whatever you have, no matter how rich you are, you will still serve him. No matter how rich you are, you will still be a servant to him. No matter how much he, you blessed him, you will still remember him. That is what Job is. And that is the part of the character that I want you to see this morning. That despite everything that God had given Job, he still remained faithful. There are people that had, they've seek the face of God, they've sought the face of God and God has blessed them. God has given them great and mighty things. God has bestowed wealth upon them, but they have disappeared. They no longer want to know God. They no longer know God. If you are such person, I speak over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. May you begin to come back to God in the name of Jesus. Our God is not just a God of stuff. You don't just come and get things and then you disappear. He wants to have the ultimate thing is relationship. God wants to have a covenant with you. God wants to have communication with you. God wants to walk with you at all times. He wants to be in a relationship with you. He wants to dine with you. He wants to call you his friend. He wants to call you his son, his daughter. And I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. That no matter what level God is taking you to, no matter what status God is taking you to, you will always remain locked up in him. You will always remain stuck with him. He will be your source at all times. He will be your friend and your shield and your butler at all times. You will remain with him. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray over you this morning, somebody. I pray over you this morning. Begin to pray with me this morning and say, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that Father, Lord, as you have blessed me, may I be a blessing to generations and generations to come. As you have blessed me, Lord, let me still be fearful of you. As you have blessed me, let me continue to be a man of integrity, a woman of integrity. Father, as you have blessed me, let me be accountable. Father, in this ministry, let me be accountable. As you've entrusted me with your flocks, let me be in, 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 accountable. As you've entrusted me with your people, let me be a woman of integrity. Father, let me be a man and a woman of integrity. Because the Bible says that Job is a man of integrity. He was a man of integrity. Be a man and a woman of integrity. The Bible portrays him as a rich man, as an upright character. Say, so, Father, I want to be an upright character. Let me maintain an upright character. And it says that he's an upright character who loves God. May you begin to love God in the mighty name of Jesus. I know God first loved us because he chose me first and he loved me. But I want to love you more, Lord. I also want to love you back an equal measure of your love that you give me. I want to love you so that you can boast of me. I want to serve you so that you can boast of me. I want to serve you so that you can be proud of me and boast of me. The Bible says that he had possessions. He had children. He had good health. That is what he was. Those are the characteristics of him. He was a man of integrity. He was a man of integrity. The Bible says in Job chapter 1 verse 1, it says that he was blameless. He was a man of complete integrity. He feared God and stayed away from evil. I'm speaking to that person that fears God and stays away from evil. I'm speaking to that person who wants to be able to fear God and stay away from evil. I'm speaking to that person who is a man and a woman of integrity and accountability. I'm speaking to that man who is striving to be a man and a woman of integrity and accountability. I'm talking to that man who is striving for perfection in the name of Jesus. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you will achieve that height, you will achieve that level in the mighty name of Jesus, that God will strengthen you and get you to that level. May God help you to get to that level. That is my desire for myself. Sometimes we have so many different versions in ourselves. You've got that version that is, that, that's not there yet. 
and you've got the version which is the best version of yourself and every now and then you become conflicted because you've got the, 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 the old version trying to overtake the, the, your current version or your desired version but I pray in the name of Jesus that the best version of you will come out in the mighty name of Jesus and that best version of you is the version that is blameless is that version that fears God is that version that wants to serve God is that version that loves God in the mighty name of Jesus is that version that is a woman or a man of integrity is a woman or a man of substance in the name of Jesus it's a reliable trustworthy man in the mighty name of Jesus I pray that version will come out let that best version of yourself come out this morning in the name of Jesus I pray that as you strive the Holy Spirit will equip you I pray that as you strive God himself will push you forward in the mighty name of Jesus it says that he stayed away from evil. He was a man that stayed away from evil. I pray that you will stay away from evil this day in the name of Jesus. And he was blessed. He was greatly blessed. He was greatly blessed. And in his blessings, he served God. If you are blessed, I know you are blessed. If you think that you've attained the height, may you continue to serve God. If you are aspiring to get to the height, may you continue to serve God. If you are not there yet, may you continue to serve God. All throughout your journey of life, may you continue to serve God. May you continue to be obedient and stay away from evil in the name of Jesus. It says that Job's sons would take turns in, in preparing feast in their home. And they would invite their three sisters to celebrate with them. When the celebration ended, sometimes... After several days, Job will purify his children and he will get up early in the morning and offer burnt offering for each of them. For Job said to himself, perhaps my children have sinned and have cursed God's in their heart. This was a regular practice, the Bible say. What is your regular practice? What is your regular practice? Do you pray to him every morning? Do you worship him without ceasing? Do you go in your prayer closet and do you spend time with him? Do you offer your service? Do you sacrifice yourself? Do you offer your time? Do you offer your resources? Do you bless the kingdom of God? Do you support the kingdom of God? I pray over you. Somebody begin to pray with me right now in the name of Jesus. And if this is the desires of your heart, because it is the desires of my heart, that God, I will do more. I will do more for your kingdom. I've been created for your glory. I've been created to showcase your glory. I've been created to do help mankind I believe that to whom much is given much is expected and so I've got to give much I don't know about you Job knew that he was giving much and he knew that much was expected of him and so he gave much I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you will receive much and you will give out much in the mighty name of Jesus but it says that one day members of the heavenly court they came to present themselves to the Lord and the accuser Satan came with them where have you come from the Lord said to him Satan answered and said, Lord, I'm patrolling the earth, watching everything that is coming and going. Then the Lord said, have you seen my, have you seen my servant Job? He is the finest of all the earth. He is the finest in all the earth. What is God saying about you? What do you want God to say about you? I want God to say to me, thou faithful servant. That is one of the things that I want to say. I mean, I had a very profound statement from our brother Chadwick that died last week where he says that when he goes to his maker, he wants that when God sees him and God asks him every talent that God gave me, he would have used all of it up. And I was so profoundly moved by that statement. What talents have you got that you are sad with? sat wasting what talents has God placed in you that you are just squandering what talents have God placed in you that you are not utilizing I want that when I go up to heaven when my time is up and I hang up my gloves I want God to say thou faithful seven I pray that God will say that you are faithful seven and I will speak to you this morning and I quicken your spirit this morning that every talent that God has placed on the inside of you you will begin to use it in every capacity that you can in the mighty name of Jesus there are men that are waiting for you and I there are men and women waiting for, for you and I for, for them to see the for us to showcase the power and the glory of God for us to showcase the talents that God has placed upon us and I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that every talent that you possess you will begin to put it to good use this day in the name of Jesus that God will begin to boast about you to the enemy he says that he is blameless 
He is the finest in all the earth and he is a blameless man, a man of complete integrity. Father, I aspire for integrity in the name of Jesus. Father, I aspire for complete integrity in the name of Jesus. I aspire for complete integrity in the mighty name of Jesus. I am a work in progress. I judge no one. I am a work in progress myself. I judge no one. I'm not here to judge you. But I'm just here to read the scripture to you. And I'm just here to speak the word of God over you. And I'm just here to quicken your spirit, man, that you can begin to think at a different level. And you can begin to correct your ways. And you can begin to desire setting, and setting behaviors and setting characteristics and setting traits from God in the name of Jesus. Because we are meant to be Christ-like. He fears God and stays away from evil. That is what God himself said. Is God going to say to the devil that I fear him and I stay away from evil? Is God going to say the same for you? I pray in the name of Jesus that God can say this about us. Satan replied to the Lord. Yes, but Job has good reason to fear God. You have always put a wall of protection around him and his home and his property. And you have made him prosper in everything that he does. May you prosper in everything that you do. You do. May the devil himself know that you prosper in everything that you do. May he see that wall of protection around you in the name of Jesus. May, he, may God place a wall of protection around you, around your family, around your business, around your home, around your life, around your health. In the mighty name of Jesus as he did in the, in the case of Job. The devil says, but God, you have placed a wall of protection around him. May God place a wall of protection around you right now. May he place it around your business. May he place it around your home right now. Somebody begin to pray and say, Father, Lord, may you place a wall of protection around me. In this season, Lord, may you place a wall of protection around me, around my children, around my wife, around my husband, around my life, around my life, my reputation, my business, around my faith in the name of Jesus. He says, look at, look how rich he is. Look how rich he is. That's what the Satan said. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you for a brother or sister that is watching me. Somebody begin to pray. We are coming to the end, but I just need you to pray over yourself and say, Father, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, May you cover me. May you cover me. May you please cover me, Lord. May you cover my home. May you cover my children. May you cover everything that concerns us in the mighty name of Jesus. May you cover us in the mighty name of Jesus. May you cover us, Lord. May you cover us on this journey. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. And this is one of my engine room prayers. That Father, I know that indeed, by the time we come to this end of this marathon, all those seven points that you said to us at the beginning of those prayer marathon will come to pass in the name of Jesus. But one of the things that I pray, that Father, you will preserve it for us. You will help us to preserve it. I don't want you to acquire all of this. I don't want God to do all of this in your life. And then you stop praying. I don't want all of this. You acquire all of this and then the enemy takes it away from you. But I pray that as you will pray in the mighty name of Jesus, you will begin to learn certain wisdom keys. You will begin to learn certain things and you will begin to be, be powerful. You will begin to be fired up. You will continue to spend time in his presence. You will stay away from evil. You will be a man and a woman of integrity. You will be a man of a woman of accountability in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody begin to command your day into the hands of God. Let us command our mornings into the hands of God. I don't know what you've got in plan, you got in uh, got in store for you today, but I pray in the name of Jesus that whatever you are doing this day, it will be successful in the name of Jesus. Wherever God is taking you, you will succeed in the name of Jesus. Wherever God is taking you, will be good news in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that Father, wherever your children are going, you will be with them in the mighty name of Jesus. Wherever somebody is, what part they are in their journey of life, I pray that God, you will be with them in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that God, you will walk with them in this season in the mighty name of Jesus. In your going out, in your coming in, be blessed. May the blessings of God find you at all times. May the favor of God locate you at all times. And finally, I decree and I declare that the whole universe is conspiring to favor you.
I pray in the name of Jesus that the whole universe will begin to conspire to favor you. They will begin to conspire to favor your offspring. They will begin to conspire to favor your business. They will begin to conspire to favor your home. They will begin to conspire to favor every aspect of your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Beloved, I thank you for joining us this morning. And I ask that you will share this message with someone. I ask that you will invest into somebody's life. Actually, before you leave this page, I just ask you to put a comment in the comment box. I ask you to put a like on this post, not because I want you to just like it, because the more likes we put on every post, it, it boosts the post, it will push the post up so that somebody else can also see it. Every like you put on the video, make sure that then the video goes up in ranking so that others will be able to access it. Because I believe that every message that God shares with us here, there are many people that needs to hear it. And I also encourage you, before you come off this morning, please be obedient to this if you can. Can you share this message with someone on your contact list? Choose one person. If every day you come and hear this word and you share it. For some of us, I know a number of people who have set up their own um, WhatsApp broadcast and they are broadcasting this message every morning. I know there's some that have got friends on, on, on Facebook and you are sharing it. May God richly bless you. In whatever way you can, if it's by, by email, if it's by um, Instagram, if it's by Facebook, if it's by WhatsApp, I'm just encouraging you, if you can just share this morning, share this post with someone, encourage someone to subscribe, catch up with them. Share your testimony with someone, share what, every experience that you are having on this journey, share it with someone. You might just think you're sharing it with someone. But then you are convincing someone. As you talk to that person, I pray that the Holy Spirit will also be talking to that person. As you share with that person, I pray that the Holy Spirit will also be sharing with that person. Let us invite more people to be a part of this movement. I know certain people have even created small cell groups. And they are going through the messages and they are praying it together. I know husbands and wives are praying it together. I know families are praying it together and I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that you will pray it together with someone. You will catch up with someone and find out how they are getting on. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus that as you pray with us, your life will never be the same. I thank God for your life and I pray a blessing over you in the mighty name of Jesus. Beloved, we are meeting again tomorrow and we will continue to study on Job and we will continue to pray. May God richly bless you and increase you in Jesus' name. Amen.